You know, it, the, the script went on a complete journey, as, as well as the whole movie, the cast, and especially Zoe, uh, like from the person that I met when I first read this script and like how the script was sort of designed, it went on a complete and utter like journey. And I really believe that there's nothing but her hard work and staying in the fight that got it to this place. I mean, she really and truly did the work, more, did the work more than I ever would have if I had directed a movie. Like, I would just be like, no, I feel like it's good, and we're going to send that. And she's just like, no, and she stays in there and, and just makes sure that every single little detail is there. Most characters, at least that I've played, I've stole from things in my actual life that I can be like, oh, I relate to that, or I understand that, and let me like create something from this place of honesty. And this one, I just completely created something like so far away from myself and like really went down some very esoteric pathways to like get there, so it's, yeah. The concept came from my experience of being uh, being a woman, being a woman in many powerful spaces around powerful people, powerful men, and you know wanting to kind of express what it feels like to be that in that position. As long as there is a discussion happening, I'm happy. I don't want to tell people what they should be discussing because I don't think that's really what art's about. But the point is that you leave feeling hopefully very entertained and also having conversations, debates, new feelings come up. And I think that's, you know, what art should do. So hopefully it does that. Chan came on very early, so he was definitely in mind when, um, when I was writing. But I feel like... Um, I actually would never dream that I could have gotten the cast that I got, so I, I don't think I really, um, you know, until I realized, oh my God, these people would be down to do it. I don't think I would ever dream about this cast. I would never dare. <laughs> I remember punching the air. I read it in an hour and a half. And if I, if I don't like a script, it takes me forever to read. I read it really quickly, and I, I remember punching the air and just being like, this is what I want to do. This is it. Um, and I, I just was like over the moon that I had even been asked to have a chat about it. So I was super excited. Yeah, I mean like the thing that I remember talking to Zoe about was that actually like when I was younger, that whole kind of wanting power, right? Like wanting to have power and influence and um, sometimes it took me to dark places, you know, jealousy and comparisons and yeah, getting myself into situations that maybe I shouldn't be in because I wanted so badly to feel important. Um, you know, I, I, I say younger, this is like 10 years ago, five years ago, and I'm still on that journey. I still have phases, I think most of us do, where we feel like we're completely powerless, right? And you look to the wrong people to validate you. And um, that part of Frida, I really was like, yeah, that's me. Um, yeah, it was incredible. It, she blew my socks off every single day. Um, I've never seen someone, like, I've, I don't think I've worked with a debut director ever before, and so, like, I mean, lucky me <laughs> that it was Zoe, but she had her eye on everything, and there was so much passion behind what she was trying to do and the story she was trying to tell, and her love of stories is, like, it, it, it's a contagious. Um, and so she brought this incredible crew together, and like gave us the confidence to make this with her um, and it's always felt like a real group effort a collaborative group effort and you know to that I to, for her for that I am truly grateful to her I hadn't read anything like this before I couldn't put my finger on it and on specifically the tone of the film it was like mon funny in moments and quirky in others and really scary um, and there's so many elements of, of all these characters being Hi, drunk, scared, excited, happy, confused, and I was just like, I'm not so sure I can do this, and that's what kind of really made me want to do it. Oh, it was it was truly beautiful. You know, she's she's an actress, so I felt so safe. Both, you know, the movie we're all in bikinis the entire time, and I just felt so safe that she was behind the camera and watching monitors. One, two, I think when developing these characters, she kind of empathetically shifted her directing abilities per actor, um, and I thought that was really empathetic of her. And you see it, you, she gets different performances from every single one of them. I think a little bit of everything. I just really hope that people leave and want to have a conversation. And, and those are the movies that I personally like to watch. They're the movies that I I'm really lucky, like this one that I get to be a part of, you know, the ones that you do sit around the table and 
and kind of discuss things and and both heal and bring things up and have discussions. I think that's really important. It's art. Right? That's what it should do. It sounded like a fun, scary movie. I was like, you're going to be on an island? Um, yeah, what popped out to me? I mean, I guess just the, it was like a story that I kind of felt like I hadn't seen before, which is what you always are looking for when you read a script. Um, it was a surprise, the ending, that I won't give away, but um, it just also had, I like movies that have a mix of tone, so it was like funny and scary, which is my favorite combo. So. Yeah, it's so true. It's so good to be able to talk and have like opposing sides about what they think happened or what they think it means or whose side that they choose or which character they relate to. Um, I think, yeah, questioning ideals of power is like a much bigger question that I hope people sit with. But I also hope people are like quoting funny lines. I mean, like, remember that part when he said this? Like, because those are kind of my favorite movies and that they are like, we should go watch it again, you know? She killed it. I mean, she's such a natural at it, really. You know, it's like, it was a big first movie to have, too. It's not like she was, she did like a short film coming out the gate. She's like, no, I'm going to do a big studio movie. I was like, cool. Um, <laughs> but she just like, she really killed it. I mean, she brought together the best people. Um, you know, Zoe knows how to throw an amazing party. And throw, like being the director of a movie is like throwing the biggest party ever, where it's like, it doesn't end and you're, it's not always fun. And she just always kept the flow going, making sure everyone was heard. She's a really good actor's director. Like she knows what she wants and it was really fun I mean so much we were in Mexico at this like resort kind of dilapidated resort all like living there together so it was pretty much like eating like the same kind of like Tamazon salads every night and um, having beer on the lawn and being like oh yeah are you shooting that crazy scene tomorrow oh yeah right and just like just hanging out it was really fun and then I read the script and I was on the edge of my seat I thought it was very exciting very important, very uh, interesting material, very interesting way to kind of deal with this whole power dynamic situation, and, and uh, I was on board immediately. You know, she came to it and just had a natural ability. Um, she knew exactly what she wanted, and yet she allowed for, uh, uh, wow, she allowed for some improv, and uh, we gave her you know, our mission, I think, while we were making it was just to give her everything that we could in order to help tell the story and uh, make it as, as good as possible. And then she took it and made it this uh, really scary, very exciting movie. I wish you guys could see, what, you know, like the behind the scenes stuff, you know, because we had a really good time. One of the really cool things is that we were all in the same location, so we were kind of in our own little bubble and we all had to have dinners together. Obviously, Haley and I shared a brain together. <laughs> Uh, uh, so, um, uh, you know, it was just a very close-knit, we became like a really close-knit family and still there's a, a group text that we have and uh, everybody, a group chain, is that what you call it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have that and, and uh, it was a very special bonding time. Certainly. I mean, it is a story uh, about the abuse of power and uh, how corrupting that is and, and uh you know, people being isolated and in a very scary situation, and how do you survive that? Um, you know, but at the end of the day, of course, we want it to be entertaining and for people to be on the edge of their seat, and I think, I think they are. I certainly was when I was watching it. I was uh, thrilled. I mean, the, the title at the time was something different, so I already was going, okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be something. And yeah, it was just a, a the way that the script went, it, it created this feeling of getting swept off your feet and being, you know, lured to this place that, you know, seems like the island of your dreams and then all of a sudden the rug gets pulled out from under you. And I think uh, people are going to have that experience in the theater too. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, getting to spend all that time with the whole cast. We were out there uh, in the jungle in the Yucatan Peninsula for over a month living at the location and, you know, spent, you know, taking most of our meals together even on off days and everything. And that just made us a really great team. You know, it's a, it's a wonderful group of people, and you know, I think we'll we'll always remember that time we shared together. Oh, it's wonderful. I mean, I, I had to keep checking before we uh, started press for this movie, going like, this this was her first movie, right? Because on set it didn't seem like that. She's uh, uh, just so skilled and has such a clear idea of her her vision, and that gave us something. Um, it made our jobs easy because we knew what we what we needed to do and what she needed from us, and we were happy to give 110 percent because of that. <laughs> I'm really curious to see what people, you know, I think there's going to be a lot of different reactions to it because Zoe weaves a lot of different things that are maybe related to current events, but it's, it's crucial to know she wrote this early in 2017, so a lot of things have happened since then. 
Oh my God, the people in it, my cast members. I mean, I've made friends for life and I can say that. Um, and that's not common for every single set. So, you know, it's, it's just, it was an amazing opportunity and even better to create those friendships. Well, perhaps how we're societally conditioned to accept our social norms. That may, it maybe gives us an opportunity to question those things a little bit um, and just think about it. Yeah, I mean, it was fun. I mean, you know it wasn't real. So, um, you know, you could go there and it'd be okay. And in that point, it was just like an action movie at that, at that moment where you get to really physicalize what's happening. Um, so it was a lot of fun. It's always amazing. I mean, I, I cannot compliment her enough. I look up to her and um, the way she is so diligent in her vision and knowing exactly what she wants. I think that decisiveness is important for this art form. Um, and it just allowed me to play as well and be confident in that, you know? Oh, I had to put it down a few times. Yeah, I had to put it down a few times. I, I had to reread it a couple times. Um, your mouth is a gate most of the time. So, yeah, I was just really happy to, to be cast in it. Okay, so first of all, of course, you want to work with Zoe, right? I mean, she never directed before, but you just kind of knew she would make something special just based on knowing who she is. I just had a, I kind of go with my gut, and I just had a gut feeling she was going to make something special. My gut was right. Um, I remember reading the script and thinking, wow, this is a, a lot, you know, and I want to help Zoe tell this story. And so if I could be a part of this puzzle that she's doing, great. So she basically did a Zoom with me. I didn't have to audition. She just wanted to meet me. So we did a one hour Zoom. We hung out just like we are right now. And by the end of the Zoom, she was like, okay, I like Simon, he's in. It was more of a vibe check. So I passed the vibe <laughs> test. And then, cause we were basically in the middle of the jungle shooting this for two months. You gotta get along and know someone's flow and you know. So I guess she was confident that I would be able to play Cody, the chef and best friend of Channing's character. Um, she just wanted to see if I was likable and nice. And I guess I passed. Yeah, I wanted to come in and lighten it up because the movie's so mysterious and suspenseful and you don't know where it's going. So if I could come lighten it up for a minute, that's my job. I mean, I guess it's just for people to go home and have a conversation about some of the issues in this movie without spoiling anything. I don't want to give anything away, but there's some heavy subject matter in this film that obviously is always making a point. So I think it just brings awareness to a lot of stuff that has been going on that she's addressing. So it's really just, you know, having this conversation through art, which is what she did. And she did it well. You know, because these are uncomfortable things to talk about. And if she could make it palatable, then all the power to her. And I just wanted to help. We would go to the cenotes. Cenotes are these swimming holes throughout Mexico. And we would go on the weekends and we'd go swimming in these tropical little swimming holes. And that's how we bonded. Yeah, I mean, I think the best day on set was Simon's birthday. We just pulled an all-nighter and hung out on the lawn. And I remember I had like the speaker with me and we brought it around the whole night. So that was like the most fun day. But then also just working with all of these great talents, you know, was such a joy and like, I couldn't have asked for anything more, honestly. You know, I went to Blunt Rolling School for this. Yeah, you know, so um, yeah, Zoe was like, I remember one of the first texts I got from her when I booked the, the film was like, true, do you know how to roll a blunt? And I thought that was hilarious. But anyway, um, after that on set, I would have one of the crew members who was an avid pothead would, would come and teach me how to roll the blunt and I would bring them to dinner and show off my homework, so yeah. Um, I think it was a really special experience because of that. It was a first for me and also a first for her. And like, I'm just so impressed about like how masterfully she just carried it through the whole way. And you know, she's so talented and a genius. <laughs> 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, unfortunately, power gets abused all the time in all walks of life and, you know, has been going on for a very long time. So I just hope that people have fun seeing the film, but then they kind of go back into their personal life and just recognize and pay attention to things that maybe they didn't recognize before. You know, that's my hope. <laughs> Definitely one of the best parts is why I'm struggling to take it seriously is this man Simon Rex next to me, who, if, for those of you who don't know, is the funniest person ever born. It's very difficult to have a meal with him because eating just becomes a problem because he's so terribly charming. Um, yeah, but really the friendships, I actually would say. And then every night after shooting, we're all living in this hotel together, which meant every night we just go back to somebody's room and like have a little dance party. And Simon would whip out his little DJ deck and we'd just like hang out until so late. Because Merida, it was so hot when we were filming. It was really only bearable when you're at night. So it meant we all kind of became nocturnal on the weekends, which just made it so much fun. I don't know if I would have trusted anybody in the world to make this movie other than Zoe. She knows exactly what she's doing, and it's scary, and it's real, and it's very sensitive about what this movie's talking about and how deeply it's dealing with it, especially with comedy. And that it's one thing to deal with very intense subjects that this movie deals with in a dramatic, horrible way, because that's what it is. But she brings levity, and the real horror is how much fun you're having while it's all happening. And I just couldn't have been more lucky to get to work with Zoe, who just knew exactly what she was doing all of the time. Yeah, and it, one of the most moving things to me that Channing spent so much time thinking about, and I think it really comes across in the movie, is what does an apology mean? H how do we repent? H how do we make better for our mistakes? We all make mistakes, very few of us hopefully as bad as the people in this movie. But h how do you try to reckon with the own problems? And I think that this movie really attacks that with so much care and that it could just vilify very easily, but it makes an effort to deal with how confusing it really is. Literally seven years ago, like almost to the day, Zoe called me up and she had a, a germ of an idea about some girls who had gone off to an island and with this, uh, with, with this guy. She had, she had the basic idea. We worked on it for so long. We've been working on the script literally for seven years. Um, and um, it took a, a lot of effort and a lot of time and we finally got it to a point where it's, you know, it's coming out. It's crazy that the movie is even coming out right now. It's nuts. Yeah. yeah. It's a terrifying, strange, weird thriller. And uh, uh, I, I think that if you're going to see this movie, your, your brain is going to experience things that you are not expecting. You don't know what you're, what you're actually up against when you're going to see this movie. Uh, it's going to freak you out. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Chan was involved pretty early. We had Chan on our mind pretty early. Um, and obviously when he got involved, he was one of the catalysts that kind of made the movie really happen which was a big, long, kind of multi-step process. But honestly, a lot of the rest of the cast, we, we cast kind of like, Zoe always wanted a relative unknowns to play a lot of female leads, uh, and we stuck with that. It's Naomi Aki was maybe like, you know, and Adria were kind of already in the, on the path. They're both amazing. Um, and we cast a lot of them, some of them literally at the last second, like just as we were starting to film. It's an amazing process. And we're so lucky to have the cast that we got at the end of the day. Yeah. I think one of the most important things is that we, as a society, uh, kind of have to work uh, uh, on a better level to help individuals process trauma. And uh, I think that it doesn't need to define us. I think we can rise above it and get to a place where everybody who has had sort of bad experiences in their lives and things that have been, you know, really feel defining for them can actually wind up winning as a result of, of battling through that. Yeah.